Hey y'all, welcome back to my vlog channel and we are turning another vlog into a vlog. This one is entitled Context Please. Did y'all ever participate in spelling bees in elementary school? I did and I didn't make it past the first or second round. Listen, math was my thing in school and words are hard. Also, the English language is forever evolving rapidly. Words that used to be okay to use in everyday vernacular are sometimes no longer culturally acceptable. I digress. I brought up spelling bees because one of the questions you could ask the judges was for additional context, such as the origin of the word, the definition, or to use the word in a sentence. Having that additional context can help students figure out the spelling of the word. I was thinking about how context is so crucial in daily conversation. I'm sure we all have made incorrect assumptions about something because we didn't understand the full context of a thing. But the only way to glean additional context from others is through communication, whether that's verbal or written. We all have to be willing to ask open-ended questions, complete research if needed, and view things in their entirety without jumping to conclusions. It's okay to take a step back and ask more context, please. Okay, so... I don't feel like that blog really originated from anything in particular. Um, I was just thinking about like how things get lost in translation. Um, think about the phone, the game telephone, like it starts off as like one particular sentence or phrase and by the time it goes to several other people, it gets lost and it's something completely different because you're not able to ask questions to make sure like you heard exactly what the person is saying. So I just think it's always important to remember like if I'm like judging something, am I reviewing it in a correct context? Did I review it completely? Even when I'm reading the Bible, like, do I understand the full context? Like, am I asking the right questions? Do I know who the writer was? What was the historical content that was going on? Like all of that, all of that is important. Or if you're having a conversation with someone, why is their tone that way? Do you know what they recently went through? Are they going through something? Is that a trigger for them? Things you will only know from asking questions to people. So. That was all. Make sure if you have questions, ask people questions. That's all. Remember, I'll take topic requests. Uh, you can leave a topic request in the comments or you can email me at rainhouseway at gmail.com. And until next time, ciao.